Hello everyone. My name is Shahrukh Khan Darvesh. I am working as a Bhumi Integration Developer at Techie Geek Hub Software Solutions. So today I am going to explain how to implement API proxy component in Bhumi. So as we know, the life cycle of the API management depends upon three stages. That is build and integrate, operate and manage, share and engage. In the first stage, we will come across API service component and API proxy component. In the API service component, we can use new APIs and already existing APIs. And in the API proxy component, we can use only the existing APIs which are already hosted outside the Boomi. So we can tell API proxy components are the deployable components that allow for direct proxying of a request through an API gateway to a service which is not served through any of the runtime engines like Atom, Molecule, and the Atom Flow. And also API proxy component is used to call an API which is already exposed outside the Boomi. And in API proxy component, we will have three types that is general tab, server tab, and the documentation tab. In the general tab is used to define general settings for an API proxy component. Here we can also import an open API specification file or the URL through the URL. So while importing a file, we will we can have the file with .json or .yaml extensions, and we can also uh, give the value for the published metadata like API title, version number, and the descriptions. And whatever the API type we are importing, uh, that will we can define the API type as REST, SOAP, or ODATA. And in the server type, it is used to define the server settings for an API proxy component. And we can also have authentication like none and basic authentication. If there will be any authentication which is provided by the server side, so we need to pass the authentication as a basic authentication. And in the documentation tab is used to specify API metadata exposed upon deployment of API proxy component. And here we can also make use of organization component so that the publisher's contact information can be stored. And now we will do a hands-on like how to implement a API proxy component in Boomi. So we will make use of one mock API. Like first we need to create a component. And that should be of type API proxy. And we need to rename it. And we will import a URL. And hit next. These are all the fields which will directly import. Here we need to select the API server URL. Finish. And we need to provide the base API path. Once we all has been done, we need to save and create a package component. And deploy to an environment. So once it is done, we need to go to the API management.
in the configure APIs and application, we can see the our deployed API. So this is our deployed API and we need to provide authentication and the plan. So first of all, we will provide authentication. Like we will take as authentication provider as authentication source, we will select basic authentication. Like already we have created one authentication. So that only we are going to use. So that is demo basic auth. Hit save. Once it is attached, we need to create a plan. Like we have already created a plan, which is a message size and uh, unlimited, rate limit is unlimited and quota limit is unlimited so that we can add to our API and we will make it as a keyless plan. Once it is done, so we will get a URL. In the rest step, we can get. We need to copy paste the postman. Here we will create a new request. Here we will paste the URL, which we have copied. And we need to provide the authentication, like we have used the basic authentication. And that the username and the password we need to provide. Then hit the send button. So as we can see, the 200 success code we have got. And this is the response which we have got. So this is the how we can implement the API proxy component in Boomi. Thank you.